Hi, I'm Doyle Bishop with Tulsa Heaters Midstream. On this channel, you can expect to hear about all things related to process heating, but sometimes the topics aren't technical, but most of the time they are. So thanks for joining. Hi, I'm Doyle Bishop with Tulsa Heaters Midstream. I want to give you a market update from our perspective. So here we are in uh, the last quarter of 2023. What's going on in Midstream? So I think the biggest uh, bellwethers uh, that I see are the acquisitions from uh, ExxonMobil, just bought Pioneer Resources, and Chevron is buying Hess. So what does that really mean? Well, one is both of those companies have a lot of really smart people. So one of the things that has been out there, people are trying to wrap their head around is, is hey, how quickly or is oil and gas, is it going away? If it is going away, how quickly? So uh, think about this, ExxonMobil, smart people, just spent, I think, $50 billion to buy uh, Pioneer Resources, which is an EMP company. So they think it's here to stay. Chevron, another big company, smart people. They bought Hess Oil, another EMP company. So both of these companies think that oil and gas is here to stay. Otherwise, they wouldn't be taking $50 billion and investing it in oil and gas. They could take that $50 billion and invest it in solar panels, I guess. So smart people, uh, I think it's a great indication of where we are in oil and gas. It's here for a good while. So uh, with that also, let's talk about LNG in particular, which affects our business. Uh, we've got uh, two new LNG plants that should, these are export plants, uh, should come online in 2024. Uh, Freeport LNG just came back online in full capacity. And we're still maxing out all our LNG export facilities right now. In fact, they're, you know, they're over 100% uh, utilized. That's great for our industry. We're producing natural gas. It's being converted to LNG and it's being shipped abroad. Uh, that's only gonna grow. If you look at the curve of LNG exports, it's amazing. I mean, it's like this steepness. So uh, good things ahead for LNG. One thing along that line I think is really interesting is there's an LNG facility called Golden Pass. It's uh, in, uh, on the Sabine River in, in uh, border of Texas and, and Louisiana. So in 2003, uh, construction started on uh, an import facility for LNG at Golden Pass. They built it. They started uh, importing LNG importing uh, in 2010. So now that same plant that came online for importing in 2010 is being converted to an export plant. That tells you that just in, what, 13 short years, uh, the U.S. natural gas economy has gone from an import economy to an export economy. And really there's not enough capacity for the natural gas demand uh, to export uh, out of the U.S. right now. We need more LNG export facilities. So things are looking good. Uh, our customers are pretty flush with cash, which means they're gonna build plants. Uh, we think this, this last quarter is gonna be, well, we know it's gonna be much better than the first three quarters of this year. Hey, thanks for joining. If you enjoyed this episode, hit like or subscribe to get more information about process heating and Tulsa Heaters Midstream.